Alrighty guys, um, as you can see here, we're back with the uh, another muzzle brake test here. This one here is the uh, small model, or the short model if you will, of the uh, Tri-Delta muzzle brake. We're going to go ahead and take a few shots here, just like we've been doing with all the other custom muzzle brakes brakes. Uh, that sounds funny when you say it. But uh, anyway, we're going to take a few shots here at 25 meters at a um, paper, paper 8x11 target. Basically as quick as we can while still keeping these rounds on track. We'll switch over to the A2 brake for comparison, and then after that we'll get into some discussion about the pros and cons of this brake. Right now, let's sling some uh, some rounds down range here. Alright, also through the magic of uh, video editing, we have the A2 brake, our birdcage hider on there, I should say. Uh, the standard one that comes with most ARs. This is kind of the control. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing here, same distance, same everything, same target. And uh, see how the muzzle uh, movement is affected as compared to the brake we were just testing out. Alright. Alright y'all, we're going to do a quick discussion here for the uh, tactical tri-delta muzzle brake for the uh, AR series rifles. Um, <clears throat> as you guys may have seen out there on the video, uh, I'm not sure how, <clears throat> how well it comes off on video, but it was definitely doing a good job keeping the muzzle down, um, as opposed to the A2 brake. It doesn't move side to side like sometimes you get with the A2, and it's uh, keeping the muzzle on target a little bit better um, than that did. The one downside of it is it's a little bit louder from the shooter's perspective. Um, as you guys probably saw here with the uh, Tri-Delta brake that I reviewed not too long ago, this brake does an excellent job of keeping the muzzle down as well as driving the force, the blast, as well as the sound and signature away from the shooter. This one, not quite as well, but it also does, it does a good job keeping the muzzle down, but the sound signature is definitely loud, no doubt about it. So something to keep in mind there. Why would you go for this over some of the other brakes in the market? Well, size. Obviously it's compact, it's the exact same size, the exact same weight as your standard A2 uh, birdcage flash hider. So if you're looking to keep the overall length of your rifle the same, but you're also looking to get a little bit of reduction in muzzle climb, it's a good option to look at. Um, and here at the bottom of the video, I'll put a uh, link to the company where you can buy these. Like, again, it's the uh, custommuzzlebrakes.com, I believe. And um, for the price, it's definitely worth checking out compared to some of the $200, $300 brakes on the market. Um, that in my opinion I really don't think are worth it <laughs> but anyway um, as always guys if you have any questions about this break or anything else I review feel free to leave a comment and uh, thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and we'll see you in the next video alright thanks